Hello YouTube users, this is GBE, got a baby eater, and I will be showing you how to make a shimeji like this one on GIMP. Now, if you don't know what a shimeji is, I'm holding one right now with my mouse. It's a little Japanese program that allows you to have cute little chitties roaming around your screen. They reproduce like crazy and yeah, they can be a real bitch after a while when they have became like from 1 to 31. But yes, I'm going to go and say goodbye to this one. You can get that one at the bottom link of the screen. Now, what you're going to end up doing is this. You're going to go to open in wherever you have your shimejis because I'm assuming that you already have one. You're just going to go to where you have your Shimeji saved. I keep mine in my pictures uh, folder with another folder called Shimejis, and from there it's actually organized through series and things like that. And from each series it's going to be per character. I'm going to go and open the one that I'm working on. It is uh, called a um, it is Mista, if you don't know who Mista is. He is from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. And yes, here is Mista Guido. I'm going to be doing that character. He's from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5. Uh, he has a stand called Sex Pistols, which I'm not going to be drawing here. And Sex Pistols, it's a very weird, it's a bit of an odd stand because it's sort of like like seven minus one it's like six stands in one more or less but yeah it's very interesting now what you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna go and make a new layer it's gonna be transparent and you're gonna duplicate that twice you're gonna put one of these layers here and you're gonna be putting white on the background let me make the mouth the brush a bit bigger there. Now, this, as you can tell, is obviously not Mista from the picture that I showed you. This is Britton, and he's going to be my base. I'm going to go and, yes, I had a Britton, uh, I, I made, like, I had saved an extra Britton in order to do this. But yeah, I'm now going to go put my brush on 19. And I will be go. I will be doing the line art. So I shall be putting pause on this because it's going to take a little bit of time, and I do not want to go and make the video longer than it should be. Okay, well I'm back, and as you can see, I made the line art. I'm going to now go and delete this because I don't need it anymore. And I will be doing the colors. I will be doing the colors. Okay. But yes, I had opened up a pro uh, I had opened up a previous image right here and I got one of the colors and I will be coloring it now. Let me first go get a little bit closer. And yes, and I know that I'm pretty sure you notice over here this monstrosity. It's based off of another fan art that I had seen where Mista was whole was wearing uh, I guess like a Thong. and I just wanted to pay tribute to that and he had hairy legs simply because I, I found that part absolutely hilarious because for me most guys that I know do not shave their legs and I just found it very comical that they had done that they had gone with that oh yeah you're gonna put the layer here on multiply because you can be able to see it here but you won't be able to see it here unless if I put it to multiply to normal you see I can change it back but yes the, the reason why I decided to have him with hairy legs here one because like I said it was a fan art but also because most guys that I know, they don't shave their legs. 
So I find it a little odd with anime pictures where they have guys with like silky smooth legs and most guys that I know they're like, that's very gay. Only f a few guys, majority of them that I know that do shave their legs are gay. I probably only know like one dude who's straight and shaves his legs, but yeah. Cool guy. So, I figure that, you know what, I prefer seeing anime guys drawn accurately in that aspect. I don't know if Japanese dudes don't shave their legs, but if they do, that's okay. Japanese people are weird to begin with. But yes. But yeah, basically all I'm going to do is just color, so I'm going to put this on pause again and not take up much time. Okay, well I'm back now. As you can see, I finished coloring it. I also forgot to put a bit of the blush, but yeah, I was able to get that in there as well. And now what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to go and click on the toggle quick mask. And it's more or less sort of like uh, one of the cutting options for PhotoFlex. So I'm going to go and put this on pause again because this is going to take a while. Okay, I just did that. Now I'm going to go and press the toggle button again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and do layers new from visible. That'll allow all these layers to be viewed at the same time. And I'm just going to go and delete all these layers. And I'm just now going to go and I'm going to do edit, cut, and then edit, paste. And you're going to see that I'm going to end up getting a floating selection. And I'm just going to go and press new layer and I'll have that again. So that just allows me to delete that and I will have this. And I'm just going to go and end up saving. It's going to ask this, just ignore it and just put export. And you're basically done. I'm going to go and show you. You can close out of GIMP and you can just do this. And you can see here and here that it's working. I have not finished the pose where he falls down and hits the ground. I haven't done that one, but I did this one. So, yeah, you, it, this is going to basically take a very long time. It's a long process and it's very repetitive. You just basically handle with that. But yes, until next time, YouTube. Bye!